wonderful to be back in here at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. Thank you all. Go Eagles! <laughs> oh, it's good to be everyone. And Mark Cuban, thank you for all that you are and being a part of it. Some of you may know, when I was five years old, we lived in Wisconsin. <laughs> My parents taught at the University of Wisconsin in Madison for a time, and every now, every time I come now, when I land, Governor Evers will greet me and he'll say, welcome home. So it is good to be back in Wisconsin. <laughs> This is a room full of leaders, and I thank you all for taking the time out of your busy lives to be here to have this conversation. I want to thank Mayor Reynolds. Thank you for the warm welcome and all you do. And La Crosse, let's reelect someone who has spent her career fighting for the families of Wisconsin, your Senator Tammy Baldwin. Election day is in 19 days. 19 days. And, and if anyone, if you all have a chair or a seat, please do seat, sit for anyone who has a chair, okay? <laughs> so listen, we are nearing the home stretch. And this is going to be a tight race until the very end. And we, we got this. I see you. And reality check, we are the underdog, okay? And that's why I'm here with you and you are taking the time to do the hard work that is necessary. It's why I'm campaigning for every vote because I want and intend to be a president for all Americans. And no matter their political party, where they live or where they get their news, okay? <laughs> and on that point, last night you may have seen I went on Fox News. And while I was doing that, Donald Trump was at a Univision town hall where a voter asked him about January 6th. Okay, so now we here know January 6th was a tragic day. It was a day of terrible violence. There were attacks on law enforcement. 140 law enforcement officers were injured. Some were killed. And what? Did Donald Trump say last night about January 6th? He called it a quote, a day of love. <laughs> but, but it points out something that everyone here knows. The American people are exhausted with his gaslighting. Exhausted with his gaslighting. 